All right, I'd like to welcome everybody back. Um, today we're going to start working on our 1944 Alice Chalmer WC. Um, <clears throat> these tires look pretty rough. These front tires do. So just for giggles, we're going to try and air them up here. Um, I bought this Astro tire gauge from Amazon um, a few weeks ago. Some people like it. Some people don't. So we are going to hook it up here. Let's see if I can find a place to put this. Now we're going to give this a try uh, and see if these tires just by chance might have some life in them. I kind of doubt it, but if not, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> the plan is for next Saturday to put new tires on it anyway. But let's just... You're seeing it right there, folks. That one's got no valve core in it, but... Hmm. He took air. What if the other side will? What if the other side's got a valve core in it? And the other side does have a valve core in it. Let's see if she'll take air. Gauge around here a little bit. And she's taking air too. Ain't that something? That's enough for now. I don't, uh, I don't trust these tires on this at all. But <laughs> well, there is a valve core in there. Well, that's just.
can get valve cores messed up, that's okay. Look there. So, there you have it, folks. Um, shut that off. You can hear it hissing away there. We'll cap up the old thing. will stop it from leaking, but... I don't know how much faith I'd put in that old tire, but hey, nonetheless. So, I don't know any history really on this tractor as far as anything about it prior to me purchasing it. Um, the gentleman I bought it from, his intentions were to go buy and cut it up, make a pulling tractor out of it. As, as I stated before, um, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to see that happen to this tractor. Just for the simple reason is having one on the farm when I was a kid. So what we are going to do today is some people use transmission fluid. Um, well, I, for one, have always used good old Marvel Mystery Oil. Um, and we are going to go by and pull these spark plugs out of this. Just a funnel laying around here somewhere. And we're going to pull the plugs out of this and start soaking these down, start soaking these cylinders down. And uh, see what we got here. Okay, well, that one there. That was a lot of gas. Um, but anyway, we'll pull them all out of here. And that one's loose also. I think that's pretty rough looking there. But right. um, one of the things that I'm going to do is I've got a bore scope. Smells of gas too. Got a bore scope here, so before I go by and dump anything down in these cylinders, I'm going to see if, just by chance, I can look down in there with our bore scope. Um, I don't know as to when the last time this tractor had been run, if it ever. On this unit, so um, what I've got here, I've got a rigid bore scope that I've picked up, and we're going to see if by chance. Doesn't really doesn't fit down into the cylinders, unfortunately. But I can see eh, down in there a little bit. So kind of hard with the angle of the scopes out here. There you go. Give you a look down in the cylinder. Got the sun on me here. So anyway, that's a look with our borescope. Um, we're going to use it for some other stuff too on this tractor. Um, pretty handy tool to have actually. So I picked it up from a gentleman online here a couple weeks ago. I'll try and do this one-handed. But what I'm going to do, everybody's seen this done a thousand times, is we're going to dump some marble mystery roll down in here. You see, we can't fill these cylinders up. I'm not worried about spilling it really. You know.
and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this soak in these cylinders real good um, we'll give it a week and then we'll come out here and, and see if we can't put get a couple turns on it and uh, see if we can get it to move a little bit But basically today we're just kind of playing around with this a little bit, trying to see if we can get get a few things done on, look a few things over. I looked in the fuel tank earlier, and there appears to be gas in the fuel tank, so it's probably pretty old. Um, So, I did buy the crank for this, the handle crank for it. Um, they picked that piece up, got it online. Nice battery cable. So, um, we're going to put all new wiring harness on this tractor. Um, one well, of the other things part of what we're going to do with this tractor is uh, we're going to convert it to 12 volts. Um, so, uh, the, uh, the choke seems to be working, at least on the carburetor. We are going to rebuild this carburetor. It's a Zenith carburetor. It's on this tractor. Um, I look up in there I can see that the radiator has been fixed some sort of patch on it that's where the temperature gauge is at which tells me that we're going to pull the radiator out um, and send the, send the radiator out to have it uh, checked out, redone um, but anyway back to uh, having the carburetor rebuilt um, we'll do that in the next few weeks See this hose clamp is loose, this one's loose. Um, we are going to convert this tractor over to 12 volts. Um, I'm not sure what kind of band-aid piece that is, but anyway. Um, so, as I'm looking back here, we're going to get into this here in a little bit. The, uh, the battery box appears to be pretty well trashed on this unit, so that's fine. Um, there's enough of these out there. Um, and we're just going to go by and start lubing everything up. Look at that. That old tire's holding there. We're going to have to fix the pins on this. On our crank piece here. Um, I'm going to go by and get this funnel out of here real quick. We're going to get the bore scope out here in a minute. We're going to look in the fuel tank and stop and see what's in there. Um, this does have the Barabanks Morris uh, Magneto on it, and uh, I'm not a big fan of the Magnetos, so therefore, its days are numbered. Um, I'm going to put these in a little snugger than what they were, just because I want to try and keep moisture out. Um, And like I said, I'm not a fan of the Morse for the, the Fairbanks and Morse, Morse uh, Magnetos. We're gonna switch this tractor over to run off a distributor, which is easy to do. Um, get my hands to work here. Pardon the quality of the video, I'm not exactly a videographer as far as that goes, but um. So I talked to a gentleman last weekend. He's got a got a uh, distributor that he'll sell me, a complete distributor. So we're gonna 
source at from him here in a couple of weeks. Take this magneto setup off and uh, put the, the uh, that setup on the tractor. Um, like I said, I don't know a lot about this motor. Um, I do know that these are sleeved and in the unfortunate event that for whatever reason this motor is locked up um, the motor will be coming out of the tractor altogether and it will go for a complete total rebuild it will get sleeved whatever else needs done to it um, so I'm not real concerned about overall cost. It's gonna be wrapped up into this tractor, to be honest with you. Um, the reason for this build is solely personal, as far as, like I said before, we had one on the farm. And um, I just wanna have one of my own. So, um, I was looking earlier, the toolbox on this tractor still has some goodies in it. Most of which are gonna find their way into the scrap pile, but the toolbox does appear to be in actually pretty decent shape. So, um, the wiring is toast. It is junk. Therefore, it'll get all new wiring on it, new switches on it. Um, I already bought a new, new oil pressure gauge. Um, you can see by looking at this one that it's pretty bad shape. So, let's move on. Once I find the rack. Hmm. Ah. Trusty old milk crate in the bed of the pickup has never let me down. This fuel cap's pretty rough. Take it off. Grab my bore scope here. Turn this guy on. And see what we can. Definitely liquid in there. Probably pretty old. We're going to see. If... I just want a flashlight doesn't work right. Anyway, um, we're going to see about draining the, the fuel tank on this. Um, it's probably going to need a new gasket on the on the fuel cap. Yeah, it's pretty pretty, pretty bad. So. Um, these aren't that expensive, so I think we're just gonna, we're not gonna mess with this one. We're just gonna replace the fuel cap. Right here looks pretty dry in there. Cap on that looks pretty rough shape, so we'll just buy another one for that. We'll get the radio off this tractor, send it out to be checked out and stuff. Temperature gauge, which is up here. Obviously, you can tell by looking at it, is it's no good anymore. So, or either it goes out, we'll uh, address that issue as well. Um, but overall, let's see here. Let's see if the battery box lid is rough shape here so let's have a look see into this hmm. 
I doubt that bolt there, no, there's gonna come off. Um, let's see here. Over here. I don't have all my tools right there handy with me, unfortunately. These wrenches are made by Craftsman. They're pretty neat. They fit standard and metric. They fit all the all the the square heads and everything else. So they're kind of kind of handy to have around. So something's turning. Probably just breaking loose, but that's okay. Um, the parts are available for these still, so. We will just go by and get a new battery box for this, um, or use one. I'll order that here in a few weeks. Um, <laughs> the duties that are going to be for this tractor, this tractor is not going uh, back into full-time farm use. This is strictly a pleasure toy for me. Um, Here's your battery box lid. We'll add that to the scrap pile. And there's a piece of rubber that somebody had in there. Oh. Special on spiders. Does anybody need any? So, let's see here. This cable is still hooked up. These cables are... And once again, we need another wrench. We're going to go ahead and take this battery out of the battery box here real quick. Um... Another side note, seat's crashed, it's all rusted out. Um, not too sure I want to sit on that one. I might need a tetanus shot after that, but that's, seats are available for these. Um, this is an actual WC, so it's, it's a mid-1944 uh, WC. Um, back tire's got some dry rot on, but they're still holding air. Um, so that's a plus. Clutch still has some spring to it. We're gonna have to pull the, the shifter top off and check all this out. It needs a new boot down there anyway. There would have been a, lo a lever on here, so we'll have to replace all that, take it all apart. Um, it's got an amp gauge on it. Oil pressure gauge is down here. I said before we have a new one of them and of course the water temperature gauge um so with that said all this stuff's pretty well pretty well shot so um and with converting this tractor over to 12 volts we will do an electronic ignition in this tractor that'll be in the new distributor and stuff um and then we'll instead of an amp gauge then we will have a volt gauge in it then um so, one of the other changes we'll make to it, and people are going to complain and say, hey, Chris, you know, you're, you're taking away from the originality of the tractor. Well, yes, I understand that, but then she's stripped. She's not coming loose. Um, yeah, you're right, I am. Don't need that cable no more. Yeah, I am taking away from the originality of the tractor, and that's okay. Um, but, with that being said, too, they did make a lot of these. There was 178,000 of these that were made. Um, I don't think anybody's going to pray for my ruination over this. So, therefore, it's all right. Um... But anyway, um, I'm not going to bore you with all the details on this. You can see there at the battery boxes. That's pretty pretty bad shape there. It's, matter of fact, the battery's getting ready to fall at the bottom of the box. Um, I need to figure out this hitch and stuff on this and, and uh, play around with it. And uh, hopefully by spring we'll have this tractor up and running. It's going to become 
something to just play around with here um, around, around the house and um, take do some parades and stuff like that with it um, as I move the lever on the throttle We got some action down there, so there is some stuff working on it. You know, the choke works on it, so that's a good thing. Um, brake band on it and stuff, so let me go by and dig a little bit into this. The uh, Float bowl off and everything, uh, this bowl off of it, sediment bowl and stuff, and clean that all up. And, uh, I do want to, while we're on here, let me see if I can prop this where y'all can see here for a minute. I'm gonna take this cap off on this, this on this magneto here, and uh, of course the four back screws are hard to get into, especially with this big screwdriver. Um, I'm just curious as to inside this cap. Um, I'm not sure what what I'm going to find in here. These are points and condenser setups. As they're on these. Um, anybody that mess with these old tractors knows that. Um, but. Kind of trying to determine just when the last time that this was opened up. Um, part of the reason we're not going to reuse this stuff is number one, it's expensive to repair. Um, and number two, I just I don't know much about them. So. That's kind of what, and they're not very reliable. They were for 1944, but obviously we're not in 1944 anymore. Well, that's a surprise. Let me, uh, let me show you what I found in here. Pull this apart here. Um. real clean in here inside 
this cap and you pull this out of the way here and we got what looks to be some pretty new components um, got a newer condenser in here so I'd say that at some point here not pretty recently um, the points don't appear to be all corroded up kind of hard to see with my big fat finger in there but a lot of wear on the contacts there so um I'm guessing that that uh not so long ago somebody had attempted to get this tractor running so that means could be good for me could be bad for me but Either way, sometimes new parts is a good sign, sometimes it's not. So, looks like this, uh, this Magneto has been a part. Another piece of the ongoing puzzle here. Um, on a dipstick it's a plus a good sign so it's, See if the pins on the crank that engage the crank are wore off basically. And there's a pin that's I don't know if you can see that up in there. Somewhere around here. There's a pin that's on that crank right there. It's in pretty rough shape. Um, I'll come in later with the grinder, cut that off. We'll slide the shaft out and uh, we'll put a new pin on it. And we'll put a new pin on this side also. This shaft that actually stick out further, um, but uh, hopefully that we can let this motor soak a little while and uh, see if we can't get it to turn over a little bit here. We'll, uh, yeah, those pins are definitely. There's no way that those pins are going to lock into here. So, we'll uh, get the grinder out here. Cut that off so we can get a new pin on. Get a new pin put in there. But, anyway, um, I'm going to walk around and start spraying a bunch of this stuff down with WD-40 to get her loosened up. Not sure if the water pumps froze up or not. It kind of looks like it might be. Um, nonetheless, the parts are there for it, so that's fine. Um, uh, one more thing, real quick. I got the tractor. Got this nice little duct tape cover on it, and um, I don't like duct tape for cover. Um, it's not, duct tape has its purpose, and at least they did something to try and keep the rain out, so I'm not going to fault them for that, but I, on the other hand, have a better solution to that. Uh, so... And obviously I need to tighten it up, but 
I'm one of them goofy people that I like to sound. I like it when it goes ting, 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 ting. So, for all those people that don't like it, sorry. Um, I myself just happen to like that. Looks like I goofed up on the size of it, so eh. back to truck to supply for another one. No big deal. Anyway. Um please like and share. Um if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Um, constructive or not criticism, doesn't matter either way. If you hate what I'm doing, tell me you don't like it. Um, if you love what I'm doing, hey, great. Um, just trying to preserve an old tractor. Um, so we'll get working on this a little bit more here. And uh, we'll finish getting this old battery out of the box and stuff. And and uh, just for those who are curious, these pieces here were where the cultivators locked in on these tractors. They locked in here, one of them on each side. And they would have lacked, gone in, walked into here and here. Um, obviously, there's one missing. So we are going to cut this one off. Um, this tractor is not going to see cultivation duties again. Um, new front tires coming next week. I know I'm putting the horse, putting the buggy before the horse. Go ahead and say it. Tractor's not even running. I'm already putting new front tires on it. But it'll be so much easier to roll around uh, once we do go to unload this. Um, hmm. guess I need to see if this will even fit in the garage. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, everybody have a good day. And we'll talk to you again soon with another project.